the city, and that it needs to happen in a timely manner. This is not like a 10 year project because it's not gonna do us any good when nobody's here in 10 years. Um, and some of the problems and some of the city can deal with easily is dealing with infrastructure. Because when you're dealing with somebody with a potential tenant or potential business coming in town, and you say, okay, yeah, it's going to take you know three months to do your construction documents and everything, and it's gonna take a couple months for the approval process, that's five months, and oh, by the way, it's gonna take another four months just to get the construction permits. You know, next thing you know, the, the business is going, well, is San Fernando really worthwhile coming into when it's gonna take me nine months to even start construction? When it's actually easier to get a building permit in Santa Monica, where, yeah, you may be able to spend, be spending more money on rent, but you're gonna get your billing permit quicker, and you're gonna be able to guarantee that you're probably gonna be able to get more income, or at least proceed that you're gonna be able to get more income for your business, because, you know, the income levels are higher there in Santa Monica, I mean, it has a name. The San Fernando has lost its name, basically. You know, most people confuse San, the city of San Fernando with just the valley. You say, I live in San Fernando, and they go, well, no. yeah, so there's a, you know, a couple of million people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and they go, no, I live in the city of San Fernando.